Hey everyone and welcome to another video series for Just Holster It. So today I'm going to break down the draw stroke. Um, so I'm going to show you the four steps on drawing your gun and presenting it and I kind of bleed three and four together and this is what I go over in my class to teach somebody that's new how to draw their gun and present their gun. So let's get started. <laughs> So for the sake of this video, I'm open carrying and I have my just holster holster right here. I love this holster. I have an ulti clip right here, so I wouldn't even need this belt, but I like having the belt. And it comes with a sweat shield on this side right here. So your gun's not rubbing against your skin all day long and it's really comfy and really nice. So shout out to Just Holster It. They make the, they make the best holsters. All right, so I'm gonna go over the steps. So I'm going to um, show you guys real quick that this gun is clear. Just for extra safety reasons, so nothing there, nothing there, we're clear. So we're gonna start with number one. One, so obviously you saw that I took a step. We teach that in our class and it's smart to move as you're drawing your gun and when you're in a situation. So the first thing I did was move. I also put my hand up here on my chest so it's out of the way and I'm not muzzle sweeping my hand and when I go to bring my hands together, it's right in the perfect position. So my hand's right here on my chest I'm right-handed, so my right hand is wrapped around my gun, finger straight, so it's not going on that trigger when I pull my gun. And you're getting your hand as high up on the gun as possible, as you possibly can, pushing down on the gun to get a nice firm grip. So that's number one. All right, so I'm gonna do this step a couple more times and show you guys. Ready? One. 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 All right, so we have step number one. So one, now we got step number two. I'm gonna show you what two is right now. Two is where we're gonna draw our gun from the holster. So we're at two right here. So at two, you can actually start shooting at two. And in our class, we go over this called shooting from retention position. Um, but two, my hand is still here up on my chest and my gun is over on my side, slightly canted out just a little bit. That way, especially if you're a girl, you know, you don't want your slide to come in contact with your shirt or your chest or anything like that. Elbows back. And I can't line my sights up from here, but I can still shoot from here if I'm close enough to my target. So that's two right there. One, two. One, two. As you can see also, fingers straight. My finger's not on the trigger yet. We haven't decided to shoot yet. One, two. Now I'm gonna get into three and four. So it's three and four, but it's a three and four. So you gradually go to four as you're doing three. So let me show you what that is. So we have one, two, now three, I'm going to start using this hand that's just been hanging out on my chest. So three, this gun's coming to the center of my body and this hand is opening up on this side over here. And this is where I'm gonna get my grip. So this is what your grip's gonna look like. My thumbs are pointed forward and they're wrapped around each other pretty much. And my fingers are wrapped around my other fingers on the other side, fingers still straight. So this is three right here. I can also shoot from three, you know, if the target's close enough. And then four is that full extension. And this is where, our, from three to four, this is where I'm gonna start lining my sights up. And this is where I have my sight picture and I would fire a shot. So if we're at two, we're at two, three, and four. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, 
One, two, three, and four. Now I'm gonna show you without counting the steps. I'm just gonna do the draw stroke. All right, so that's basically something that you can do at home. It's good to just practice. I'm just practicing drawing your gun, lining up those sights. That's very important, and that's what's gonna make you a really good shooter and gonna make you comfortable at the range and be able to have a really proper good draw stroke. Now, there are some people that practice with their trigger when they do dry fire and practice um, using their trigger press and all that stuff. I don't manipulate the trigger at all. I just leave my trigger alone and I just practice learning with my sights. So you can do it either way, but that this is how I do it. And of course, when you're doing this at home or anywhere or just in general, you really wanna make sure that gun is clear just to be on the safe side. You wanna double check it, make sure there's no magazine in the gun, make sure there's no round in the chamber. When I check my gun, I drop the magazine out. There's no magazine in here. See, you can see no magazine in here. I all, always do the finger check. I put my finger into the slide. All right, there's no rounds in there it's completely empty you can see I visually check it check it with my finger and we're good to go um, so make sure you always check your gun and always have an empty gun when you're doing dry fire and your finger will never goes on the trigger so you didn't see my finger go on the trigger at all that whole time the only time your finger is gonna go on that trigger is when you're ready to shoot and you've made that decision to shoot and you're on target and then you can go ahead and shoot but I wanted to show you guys this especially for people out there that don't know the draw stroke and they need a little help here's the video for you and thank you to just holster it for supporting my channel and for supporting american gun chick shout out to them go get yourself a good quality holster and then you can begin your dry fire training go to justholsterit.com and use discount code agc15 for 10 percent off discount code link below